They're lined up and ready for the kickoff, so let's go to the field for the start of the action. Clawson in to kick this one off. Andrews back to return. He got all of it, and it sails out of the end zone. They're ready to go on offense for the first time. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Get it up! Yeah, 36th day. Play football! All day, baby, come on! Come on, Looking for room. Davis comes up to make the play at the 21 yard line. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Ball on their own 21. Ball on the 21 yard line. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Wigan sends a man in motion. From the start, from the start. He's moving. Gets rid of it. It's batted away. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up with the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Walsh was the intended receiver on that play. 39. Ball on the 21 yard line. Left, left. Watch the vertical, watch the vertical. 40, 49. Watch your eyes. Then we go to the Quick, quick, quick. On the run. And he lets it slip out of his grasp. They dropped additional people into the secondary, but still generated an excellent pass rush. And that gives you a lot of flexibility calling your defense. If the guys up front are good at creating pressure, then you don't have to blitz as often, giving you the ability to double cover an opponent's best receiver. So the lineup for punt after going three and out. And so the punt goes out of bounds. Ball right around midfield. Ball on the 48 yard line. Indianapolis might have difficulty covering all five receivers with a base 4 3 defense. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Ball at about midfield. Ball on the 48 yard line. The Colts line up in a 4-3. Closing in with the pass. Incomplete pass. And they were each jockeying for a position while that one was in the air. You don't see that slow very often. Now both players have the right to catch the ball. In this case, the receiver just tried to exert that right a little too strongly. Ball The Colts come out in a dime package. Drops back. With the throw. Almost intercepted. Hendrickson was his intended target. He with the coverage. Third and long. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Colts come out in the quarter defense. Throwing. He was tipped. Good pressure up front forces the incompletion. You know that the defensive coordinator loves it. And he could drop additional guys back in coverage, but still get pressure on the quarterback. Andrews back to return. Andy signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 22 yard line.
and ball on their own 22. Will start the drive at the 22 yard line. First and 10. Hey, watch the screen, Wiggins with a man in motion. Hey, watch the ball. Come on. Gives the ball off. Under pressure. Steps up with the throw. The wide receiver has it. Bradford comes up to make the play at the 33. Now that's a quick release. The quarterback decided where he wanted to go with it, and boom, it was in the receiver's hand. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Pullback handoff. Sarah is there for the tackle at the 35-yard line. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35-yard line. Hey, soft, man. Get it, soft. Hut, hut. Hand it off to the fullback. Pressure. Throwing. And he can't hang on. And he put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Third and eight. Ball on the 35 yard line. They both know. This is the ready. Nickelback in this time. Keep the throttle down. Pressure coming with the pass. He hits his receiver. Can't pull him down. Stark brings him down before he can reach the marker. He gets the pass to his receiver, who will come up just short of the first down. You're never sure why a quarterback chooses that pass instead of one deeper downfield on that third down situation. Slater comes into the game for the punt. McDonald is the deep return man. This one goes out of bounds. trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Gain of three. Second and seven. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Colts come out in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. Number 59 is there on the stop at the 30-yard line. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. Third and five. Ball on the third yard line. There we go, baby. Rock and roll. It's full time, baby. Crockett, the lone back. Hand it off to the back. Peterson brings him down before he can reach the marker. So we should see the punter after they fail to convert on third down. Maestrom will come in now to punt it away. Andrews looks like he's ready for the return. And he waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 22-yard line. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Ferguson, the long setback. Give it off. Number 49 is there for the tackle at the 30. Ferguson has been a solid runner for them all year long. He's now over the 1,000-yard mark. Second and two. Ball on the 30-yard line. They line up in the I formation. So we're going to take it. Price comes up to make the play at the 32-yard line. Price is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. 
First ball on down. their own 32. Ball on the 32 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Give it to the halfback. Runs through the tackle. Davis is there for the tackle at the 40. You got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right into the end zone. Second and a deuce. Ball on the 40 yard line. Throwing. He had a shot but couldn't come up with it. Good push by the defensive line, forcing the incomplete pass. He hung in there. He didn't really have the time that he needed to make the play. The quarterback has to know who his outlet guy is and get the ball to him when he feels that pressure coming. The backs are lined up in an eye. Wiggins with a man in motion. With the pass play on third and short with the throw almost picked off. Walsh was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Starts was there on the coverage. Slater is ready to pump this one away. McDonald into return. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 19 yard line. So they have first and 10 here. 19 yard line. First and 10. The Colts come out in a 4 3. Slips the pass. Number 44 comes up to make the play at the 23-yard line. A tough running game will make your passing attack even more effective. Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23-yard line. Deucey, deucey. This is the way to... Here we go. With a counter play. Lewis records the tackles. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on it. It's third down and four to go. The Colts come out in a 4 3. On the ground. Fakes the handle. Pumps. Launches this one to the left. Incomplete as the defender wrenches it away. The defense dug in their cleats and held their ground on that series of downs. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 30-yard line. Price goes back into the game after being injured earlier. Here it comes. Hand it off. They're going to spot this one at the 31 yard line. The defense held their positions and didn't let them get very far. Second and nine. Ball on the 31 yard line. That's on the two, baby. Wiggins sends a man in motion. Receives the handoff. Fumbles. The Colts scoop it up. The offense recovers its own fumble. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. It's third down, and they have a long way to go. Out of the shotgun. Dropping back. Closing in. Gets rid of it. And he makes the grab. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 39-yard line. The pass is caught 
but just shy of the first down. That was perfect defense. They allowed the catch, but they were there to make the tackle. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. From the 28-yard line, the 40, the defender goes down. McDonald with a brilliant return and takes the puck back to midfield. Ball on the 50-yard line. At the 50-yard line. First and ten. Indianapolis comes out in a 4-3. On the carry. Lewis comes up to make the play at the 44. This is a spot where you want to show the defense that they have to respect the running game. So that play goes for about six. Ball on the 44-yard line. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Colts with a four-man front. Setting up play action. Gets rid of it. Number 44 is there on the stop. At the 20. Good throw. Good catch to move the chains. You know, as a receiver, all you have to do is get a step. And this guy's going to put the ball on you. Ball on the 20 yard line. Will, Will, Will. Indianapolis comes out in a 4 3. Going to the air on first down. With the pass, he finds his man. They get another first down here. So well, they're not doing anything fancy. Good old fashioned drop back and pass. And it's working. The defense on both sides dominant so far as the first quarter comes to an end. No score. The team says what size and will strike the second quarter. Nine yards, they'll be in the end zone. Nine yards. No, one, one, one. Indianapolis using three linebackers. All right, let's go. Cross play to the left. Puts on the juke. Hamilton comes up to make the play at the three-yard line. They can't get the blocking they need, and now it'll be second down and goal. It's second and goal at the three. Only one man back on the ground. He is there for the tackle. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. They need two yards to get it into the end zone. Hey, let's go. We're talking about green. Everything you've got. We'll keep it. And no score. So they designed that one for the quarterback, and he finds his way to the end zone. Clawson comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. The thing that most impressed me about that last drive was the offensive line. A strong offensive line is the first and most important component to an effective offense. This one is fielded by Andrews. Nothing happened for the offense on their last drive as they went three and out. First and ten. We'll start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and ten. 
Ferguson, the lone setback. Gets rid of it, and the catch is made. A successful offense is one that can run and throw for good yardage on first down. Picked up 10 yards. Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29 yard line. Let's go! Here we go, baby. On the goal. Loose ball. The fumble is scooped up. The defense came up with that one. And he thought he might challenge this one, and sure enough, it'll be reviewed. The call in the field is questionable. You might decide that they made an incorrect call and reverse it. The coach is hoping they get it right here because that could be a big lift to the team. What the official will be looking for here is to see if the knee is down. It's tough to say with that replay. This one won't be easy. No fumble occurred. And that challenge was a good decision as the call is overturned. Well, sometimes the official sees what you see, and sometimes he sees something else. But this time, everyone could see the call had to be changed. Wiggins with split backs. Rolling right. Rolling. And he hits his car. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Excellent recognition by the receiver, reading the coverage and adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. The receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man. You can see passes going right to defender. Go in this direction. Sarah comes up to make the play at the 44. If they can keep getting good runs like that in the second quarter, they'll be able to use play passes the entire second half because the defense will just be thinking about stopping the run. Five-yard game. Ball on the 44-yard line. Number 85 comes in motion. With a counter play. Sarah with the tackle at the 40. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. They convert on this third down, they have to reach the 38. Hold the left. Out of the I formation. Looking upfield. Great effort that time, John. He's clearly one of the best in the league. Yeah, he's one of those guys who's been playing for a while now. And let me tell you, he might never be better than he is right now. McDonald sets up, waiting for the punt. He signals for a fair catch. Touchback. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Here we go, baby! Indianapolis goes with a four-man front. With the throw. Lewis is there on the stop at the 36. The powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. The Colts line up in a 4 3. Steps up, going long. He made the catch. The 20, the 10. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. And it's six points.
The point after is good. Big drive right there, John, and that defense is really struggling now to make plays. The offense seems to have their number out there. They need to rethink their strategy on defense. Maybe blitz a little more trying to create some additional pressure. They have to find a way to get this offense out of their rhythm. Clawson is back and ready to put this one in the air. Booming kick downfield. This one is handled by Andrews. If they want to make this a game, they have to buckle down, avoid mistakes, and work hard to dig themselves out of this hole. Ball on their own 20. Direction. Start comes up to make the play at the 22 yard line. Ferguson had very little help up front, maybe a yard or two on the play. Six second down and eight to go. Looking upfield, play action, gets rid of it. A good pass would have hit him in stride. Instead, a missed opportunity. Third and eight. They come out in a dime package. Looking deep to the right. In it. Out of his hands. The offensive coordinator called a good play. And the quarterback threw him a catchable ball. He just couldn't get his hands in the proper position to make the catch. McDonald sets up to run back the punt. Signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 37 yard line. Right. It's first and ten at the 37 yard line. First and ten. The Colts with a four man front. Dropping back to pass on first down with the pass. Pass is complete. He gets the first down reception and then so the play is a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. The Colts come out in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. Lewis is there for the tackle at the 28-yard line. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. It's second down and eight to go. They're blitzing. Gets rid of it. It's batted away. He tried to float one out there. Lewis on the cover. Third and eight. Ball on the 28 yard line. Ain't no way. Turn over, turn over, turn over. With the pass. And he drops the pass. Pretty good play call on that one. Everything happened just as it's drawn up. Just couldn't hang on to it. Now here this will be about a 46-yard field goal. The kick is able to throw. It's good. 
He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. That one is out of the end zone. The offense takes over after they were three and out on their last possession. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. They ain't got nothing. Here we go. Throws it. The 40. Midfield. Fumble. Good play by the defense to recover the fumbles. Two-minute warning coming up. Ball on the 47 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. On the team. The Colts line up at a 4-3 to carry it. And that's a stiff one. Number 44 is there for the tackle at the 50. It'll be a first down as he bowled his way forward through a couple of would-be tacklers. He was running with extreme focus and determination because he knew how far he had to get. He wasn't about to take a loss on the play. Indianapolis lines up in a 4-3. It off to the back. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackler. He will move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Two minutes left in the quarter. The Colts come out on a nickel pack. Gets rid of it. Jumps, and he has it. They'll spot this one at the 44-yard line. He wraps up the ball carrier, and his tackle total is now four. As a receiver, you hate to have that ball thrown high because you're stretched out and vulnerable to the big hit by one of those defenders. But this guy's tough, and he'll do what he has to to make the catch in that situation. Danny, Danny, Danny. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Indianapolis goes with a four-man front. Throws it. And the catch is made. Number 17 is right on the mark with that throw. Third down is when you really need your quarterback to be sharp because the temptation to force something in is bigger. That time he found the right guy and he made a good throw. First and ten. Douglas, the lone back. Number 17 with a man in motion. Boy, the counter play. Number 59 comes up to make the play at the 33. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hand. Ball on the 33 yard line. Ball on the 33 yard line. Keep the throttle down. The Colts line up in a 4 3. Number 44 is there for the tackle at the 24-yard line. And he was able to create a lot of space on that run, John. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. Ball on the 24-yard line. Watch your eyes. The Colts, with a four-man front, gives the ball off. Peterson is there on the slot at the 16-yard line. Eight-yard game. Number 17 stops the clock there. We're just about down to one minute. The 16 yard line. Watch out. They get it to the handback. Can't get it from behind. Number 17 stops the clock with that timeout. 
Johnny had a guy right there in his face, but made him miss. Yeah, and every back in this league needs to be able to make the first guy miss because defensive linemen and some linebackers are so good at getting penetration. You can't allow them to bring you down every time they get back there. The Colts come out in a nickel package. Throws to the end zone. Makes the grab. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and the touchdown. John, they're just dominating with 24 unanswered points. Heck, by the way they're playing right now, they could score 124. Clawson looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. This one is fielded by Andrews. The Colts need to rebound quickly as they start this drive at the 20 yard line. Ball on their own 20. Wiggins will work out of the shotgun. With the throw. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. He has a knack for making a big play. That was another one right there. Andrews was the intended receiver on that play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Wiggins out of the gun. Throws it. Breaks free. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Indianapolis. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in his play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. They did everything they had to on that one. And the end result is a trip across the goal line and a TD on the board. This one is handled by McDonald. We couldn't stop them from getting into the end zone the last time out. Hey, I know they want to increase the lead before half, but they got to be careful and not let the other team back in it with a turnover. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. They got nothing. Hey, let's go. Indianapolis with six defensive backs. Going deep. Drops the interception. Deep throw, nearly picked off. That was great defense right there. He got excellent position, and he did everything but come away with the ball. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Here we go. Hold the look. The Colts line up in a 4 3. Under pressure, steps up into the pocket. 
And this defense does what it takes to bring down the quarterback. They've got the outside rush, the inside rush, and they have all the right moves. It's now third and long after the sack. They come out in a dime package. fifth of the game not getting the first down that will probably bring out the punter Andrews will go back to accept this punt Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 46 yard line. They'll take over at the 36 yard line. First and 10. to the running back. Indianapolis calls a timeout. They have none left. Ferguson gains about seven yards on that reception. Second and three. Ball on the 42-yard line. From the gun. With the throw, grabs the offensive pass. Bradford is there for the tackle at the 48-yard line. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. It keeps the same defense on the field. With the pass, they'll spot this one at the 36-yard line. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. Number 53, first down. Everything he has into this one. But it's okay. good. It Great good. good. Going into halftime, the, the score half, is 24 is to 10. The 24, the Colts, 10. We're ready to begin the fourth quarter of play. Both teams have lined up and are set for the second half kickoff. This one is handled by McDonald. They'll start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Colts with a four-man front. We'll feel that one tomorrow. He's had pretty good success running the ball in this one. Fall on their own 28. Defense, get ready. It's show time, baby. The Colts line up in a 4-3. Gets rid of it. The pass ball is incomplete. It'll be third down after they fail to complete that short attempt. Number 17 from the shotgun. 
pass play on third and short. Pressure, throws it, and he makes the grab. Smith is there on the stop at the 34. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. Number 17, looking to pass, lines up with five wide receivers. Rowing. Incomplete pass. Richardson was his intended target. So we should see a punt here. <laughs> For the fifth time tonight, the coach sends in the punting unit. This one goes out of bounds. Been a rough start to this game. But they still have enough time to turn it around. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. They're coming with the blitz. Hits the fullback. Fitzgerald Lane. comes up to on make the, the play. At Game the 34. Going to kind of rush that pass a little bit, but he's happy with the result. Yeah, I'd say. The defense was blitzing, so he knew that he had to get it out of there pretty quickly. And he did that Second connecting with six. his man for a pretty Ball good pickup. 34 yard line. Let's go, let's go. Ferguson, the lone back. With the throw, nearly intercepted. Martin was Ball the one they were trying to get the ball to. Martin, the intended receiver on the play. Third and six. Ball on the 34 yard line. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Pressure coming with the pass. This pass is incomplete. That's the third one he's been unable to bring in. Slater comes into the game for the punt. McDonald lines up deep for the punt return. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made after 24 yard run. First and 10. Ball on the 24 yard line. Hey, watch the screen. Bring it up, bring it up. Only one man in the back. Smith stops him for negative yardage. Great read by the defensive line there, John. They knew exactly what was coming. And knowing what they like to do out there comes from lots of film study and preparation. When you know what a team likes to call in certain situations, third and long, second and short, it really gives you an edge on defense. Watch the snap now. I can do it, man. Douglas, the deep back. Closing in, throws it. On the sideline and out of bounds. He had to unload that pass in a hurry. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in and gunning the ball out of there. Right. 
As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Dying backs in for this play. With the pass, he hits his receiver. Lewis is there for the tackle at the 37-yard line. Give him some time, he'll hit his base. And the thing is, he doesn't care how big that window is. With his accuracy, everyone's open. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37 yard Douglas lines up behind his fullback in the eye. He tucks it away. Nice play fit. Throws it, and he hits his target. Receiver running and breaks free. The 10. Number 17. And another touchdown pass. His third of the game. Clawson comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. This one is handled by Andrews. The Colts have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 20. They'll First and 10. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. Goofy, goofy. There we go. They got nothing. To carry it. Play action with the throw. Incomplete pass. The defense was coming after him on that play. He knew he didn't have much time, and he decided to get rid of the ball quickly on that one. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Not today. Wiggins back in the shotgun. Uses the puck under pressure. Great job getting in there to drag the quarterback down. He picks up the sack. And he'll make two or three plays like that in just about every game. They're looking now at third and long after the sack. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Rowan. Ooh, nearly picked off. Price had his hands on him. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. He signals for a fair catch. First and ten. Ball on the forty-nine yard Bring it up, bring it up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The Colts line up in a four-three. He hands it off. Number fifty-five is there on the stop at the forty-six. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. And he picks up about four. Second and five coming up here. The Colts with a four-man front. A little misdirection. Brad breaks the play up in the backfield. Good work by the defensive line there. They got off the ball, got penetration, shut off those running wings. 
He was looking for a hole, but the only thing he saw was a massive wall of defenders. On third down, they have to reach the 41 to convert. Number 17 scans the defense from the gun. Drops back with the throw. Almost intercepted. Number 89 was the intended receiver on that play. Hamilton had the coverage on the play. Nystrom will come in now to punt it away. Andrews is back to receive this kick. Fair catch. Fair catch. The deep back. He tucks it away. Number 56 comes up to make the play at the 16 yard line. Ferguson with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five yard pickup. Ball on their own 16. Ball on 16 yard Get it up. Turn it up now. Wiggins scans the defense from the gun. Pressure with the throw. Hey, hey, hey. It's batted away. Good call by the defense as they set the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything, and he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. Third and five. Ball on the 16 yard line. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. Big man gets in there for a big set. He's got a great combination of size and move. Now, he won't be winning any races, but he's good at getting after the quarterback. And let me tell you, you never want him to be the guy falling on top of you. Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. the 49. McDonald manages almost nothing on the return going down at the 49 yard line. Ball right, right around midfield. First and 10. Hey, let's go. Indianapolis lines up in a 4 3. Little misdirection. The 40. Hamilton is there for the tackle at the 28-yard line. Let me show you what happened on that run. This guy absolutely tees off on the defender. I mean, he puts him right on his back. That's about as good a block as you're going to see. First down. Gets rid of it. Jumps up. He has it. Peterson is there on the stop. Yeah, that's a tough catch to make. First, you got to get your hands in the ball. Then you got to try and protect yourself from getting knocked out by the defender. Second and seven. Ball on the 24 yard line. Keep the throttle down. We're coming around. football. Gets the call. Lewis is there for the tackle at the 20. Douglas picks up some tough yards there. To get the first down, they have to reach the 18-yard line. They have a big, big lead, and they're on the move to get inside the 20. On the ground. Number 59 is there on the stop. Douglas picks up the first down. That's the second time on this drive he's been able to move the chains. Oh, 
So they have first and ten here. The last time they were down here, they scored a touchdown. Go back handoff. Flips the back. Lewis comes up to make the play. Game two. The Colts with a four-man front with a counterplay. Hamilton is there on the stop at the 12. Douglas has just gone over the century mark. They're 12 yards away from the end zone. Out of the shotgun. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. You just hate to see that kind of thing happen. You're trying to get some momentum going, or keeping your momentum going, then your guy drops a catchable ball to bring up fourth down. So this should be an easy three. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get in into the end zone every time. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Blossom will be kicking off. He won't have a chance for a return here. They need one quick score and then some more. First and ten. They'll go from the I formation. It's the toss to the right. Franklin comes up to make the play at the 26. Ferguson he gets some decent yardage on the run, but John, they're using up precious the seconds. What they really need to do is put the ball in the air. Put the pressure on the secondary. Ball on their own 26. Ball on the 26-yard line. Hey, let's go. No stop. No stop. That motor. So Wiggins spreads them out. Throws it. Complete from the wide receiver. Starts. He's there on the stop. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chains. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. the tailback number 56 is there for the tackle play calling is very surprising considering the size of the deficit this is not a good time to sneak in a running point they need lots of yards real fast ball on their own 37 ball on the 37 yard line here we go throwing he couldn't control it. This defense, John, knows how to create a lot of pressure. Putting pressure on the quarterback can disrupt passing. But pressuring the receivers can do the same thing. If you can play physically on the outside, bump them off their routes, hold them up at the line, you can take away his receiving options, forcing him to just get rid of it. Number 85 comes in motion. Throws it. Incomplete. Felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. That's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. The 
McDonald back to return. This one goes out of bounds. First and ten. play he's brought down behind the line for a short loss no gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed yeah he did a great job getting in there he was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball second and long coming up here the Colts come out in a 4-3 a little misdirection the 40, number 44, is there for the tackle. Good-looking run there. They caught the defense coming up the field in a blitz that time. And by the time they saw it was a run, the back was already in the secondary picking up a first down. Ball on their own 47. Douglas, the lone back. He hands it off. Snyder is there on the stop at the 49-yard line. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. It's second down and seven to go. Douglas, the lone back. Receives the handoff. Has room. Hamilton is there for the tackle at the 43-yard line. Douglas has gained enough for another first down, his second of the drive. First Ball on the 43-yard line. On the 43-yard line. Indianapolis using three linebackers. Gained it off to the back. Number 44 comes up to make the play. At the 38, Crockett rumbles forward for a gain of four. Second and six. Ball on the 38-yard line. Indianapolis comes out in a 4-3. Here we go. Throwing. The pass ball is incomplete. Can't complete the short pass attempt, so they'll have a third down now. Third and six. Ball on the 38-yard line. Indianapolis goes with a four-man front. Hands it off. They'll go with a play fake. Deep throw. Almost picked off. What the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're cluing. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. Maestrom is ready to pump this one away. Andrews is the deep return man. He's waving for the fair catch. This is one of those situations where they're playing for respect. The game really hasn't gone the way they thought it would, but they have a lot of pride in their team. And I'd expect to see them keep fighting until that final whistle. Ball on their own 20. He gets the carry. Nice play fake. With the throw, drops the intercept. Number 56 had his hands up. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. Second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. They'll bring the blitz with the pass. The pass is picked off. So he throws the fourth quarter interception. He just should have tucked it away and run with it. Right. 
So after the interception, now it's first and ten. The Colts line up in a 4-3. Looking upfield. Brown comes up to make the play. Douglas takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Second and nine. Ball on the 45-yard line. Tailback Peterson is there on the stop. Douglas takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. Indianapolis looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Hand it off. Play action with the throw, and he goes out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Jensen couldn't make it to the marker, and it brings up fourth down. Nystrom comes into the game for the punt. Andrews looks like he's ready for the return. He signals for a fair catch. It sure doesn't look like they're going to be able to come back in this one. But it's an issue of pride. They want to prove that they're better than they've played so far. Ball on their own 20. Wiggins with a man in motion. Pass play here on first down. Closing in. Gets rid of it. Caught out of bounds. That's the third one he's been unable to bring in. Under pressure. Going deep. So they lose out on an opportunity to pick up solid yardage. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. the pressure. The Colts line up in a five receiver set this time. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. It was almost like the defenders were in the huddle on that series. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. Slater will come in now to punt it away. McDonald into return. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 42-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Defense, get ready. The Colts with a four-man front. Hands it off to the back. Number 55 is there on the stop. Eight-yard game. Ball right around midfield. The Colts come out in a 4 3. With the carry, they'll spot this one at the 49 yard line. It's a half dozen tackles. Gain of about a yard. Two minute warning coming up. Indianapolis goes with a four man front. This one is handed off. Number 55 makes the stop, and they'll be short of the marker. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. And they made the decision to just keep it on the ground, take time off the clock, not force anything. This is a luxury of being ahead.
Andrews sets up to run back the punt. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. First and ten. Ball on the six yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Pressure with the pass. With the catch. And he's ridden out at the 15. Watch this. He stands him up and he puts him right down. That's stopping in your tracks right there. Gets the pass off. He appeared to feel the pressure there. So many passing attacks in the NFL rely on timing. When you can put pressure on the passer, you never give him a chance to get into a rhythm. And you force him to throw the ball before he wants to. Third and inches. Ball of the 15 yard line. Nickelback in this time. Pressure coming. Fires this one deep. Nearly intercepted. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays to fast. That's right. you got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers that can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. Hey, watch the screen. Let us pick Stay both now. With a counter play. Price comes up to make the play at the 18. The offense is going to hurry things up here. Closing in. He held on to it too long. Davis did a great job breaking through, getting there for the center. Yeah, it's a great play because he had to slip the blocker, then use his speed to get back to it. He just made it look simple. The rush is on. Throwing. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. Wiggins stops the clock there. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Dropping back with the throw. Incomplete. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air. It might be a little too late. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy pickup, but the offense has to believe that they can do it or they've already lost the game. The line has to give the quarterback some time so he can find an open guy and keep this thing going. As expected, they'll go for here. Coming back to pass here, needing a big fourth down conversion. Deep throw. This pass is incomplete. Wiggins is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. They'll take over to put the 17 yard line. First and 10. No need for anything else but taking a knee here to finish this one out. Second, Second and long. Ball on the 19 yard line. All right, now. Let's turn it up, D. Watch your eyes. All right, let's go. Hand it off. Peterson is there for the tackle at the 14. You know that the guys up front love to run block. All offensive linemen do. Just out muscle the guy right in front of you. They've done a pretty good job of creating seams and holes for the backs in this one. The seven yard line is where they have to go on this third down play. Here we go, baby. Deuce it, deuce it. Here we go. What screen? He tucks it away. 
comes up to make the play. At the eight. Fourth down upcoming, but they're in position to add to their lead. Yeah, and that's what they wanted to do. Control the ball and the clock while getting into position to add at least three points. So this should be an easy three. That's the end of the game. The final score is the home team. 34, the Bulls, 10. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.